Watch this. I'm typing a single formula. And boom. The whole table filters instantly based on just a few letters. Want to learn how to do this in Excel? Stick around. We'll build it step by step. All right, so here's the setup. On this sheet, I have a table from cell L4 to P53. It contains employee data, including employee ID, city, position, and salary. Now what I want is this. When I type something like dev or man in cell C2, Excel should instantly show only those employees whose position starts with those letters. Let's build the formula together, and I'll explain everything as we go. We start by typing equals filter, open parentheses, or using the filter function because we want Excel to return only the rows that match a condition. Next, the array. That's the table we want to filter. We type L4 colon P53. This range includes the entire employee data. Now comes the condition. We're filtering based on the position column, which is column N, so we type left, open parentheses, N4 colon N53, comma. Why left? Because we only want to check the beginning of each job title, not the whole thing. Now, how many letters should Excel take from the start? That depends on what the user types in C2. So we type L-E-N, open parentheses, C2, close parentheses, close parentheses. This means however many characters the user typed, take that many letters from each job title. Now we compare those letters to what the user actually typed. So we type equals C2. Finally, if nothing matches, we want Excel to display a friendly message. So we add comma, in quotes, no match found, and then close the formula. Here's the full formula. Equals filter, L4 to P53, comma left of N4 to N53, based on the length of C2, equals C2, comma, no match found, and close. Let's test it. I type dev, and boom, all developers appear. Now I type man, and instantly, the table shows only managers. And that's it. A live search filter in Excel, using just one dynamic formula. No VBA, no buttons, just smart Excel logic. If this was helpful, drop a like and subscribe for more practical Excel tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.